The anime begins by showing the National High School Basketball League in the quarterfinals between Jiangxi High School from Beijing, facing Shen Wang High School from Shenzhou. The teams battle fiercely, with Shen Wang trailing by one point and striving to even the score. Player Pang Kai from Shen Wang faced off against Chen Fang from Jiangxi. Pang Kai moved to the corner of the court, then jumped to shoot the ball. However, Chen Fang reached out his hand to block. The match continued with Jiang Xi regained possession, and one of the Jiang Xi players immediately passing the ball to Chen Fang, who swiftly made a jump shot, scoring for his team. Despite Shen Wang's counterattacks, Jiang Xi maintained control. At the same time, Chen Fang showcased exceptional skill and speed by passing Shen Wang players to score crucial points as time ran out. With a final score of 68 to 61, Jiang Xi emerged victorious. All of Chun Fang's teammates immediately rushed towards Chun Fang and carried him while celebrating Jung Si High School's victory, which successfully advanced to the semifinals. A year later, it turned out that Jung Si High School didn't make it to the final game, despite Chun Fang's best efforts as their star player. They suffered defeat at the Huns of Beihai High School with a score of 72 to 84. In the following season, Chun Fang, now in his second year, was resolute on getting revenge and defeating Beihai High School. The scene then shifts to a young man named Sing Ze, traveling on a train headed to Beijing. Upon arriving at the station, instead of his sister picking him up as planned, he received a message with an address to go to. As he walked out to find a taxi, he noticed a man following him. Startled, he turned around, ready to defend himself, but it turned out to be a station robot advising him not to block the path. When he turned back, the man was right in front of him, claiming to be sent by his sister. Hearing this, Sing Ze contacted his sister, Wang Yu, to verify, but she denied sending anyone. Wang Yu warned him about the man, suspecting him to be a criminal. Sing Ze attempted to flee, but the man pursued him relentlessly. Despite trying to lose him in the station lobby, the man caught him, and they dashed past security in a swirly motion. Outside the station, amidst the traffic, Sing Ze managed to momentarily escape, but the man eventually caught up, apprehended him, and forced him into a car. Unexpectedly, Sing Ze met Wang Yu again, and the man explained that he had indeed come to pick him up on Wang Yu's orders. She then playfully messed up his hair, teasing him. Later, she invited him to have roasted duck to apologize. During their conversation, she asked why he transferred to Jung Si High School and assured him she'd take care of everything for him. Sing Ze then explained that he came to Beijing to find someone. Upon hearing this, Wang Yu assumed it was a girl and exchanged a glance with her brother. While passing a field, Sing Ze spotted a young man playing basketball and got out of the car to join him. He praised the young man's skills and guessed he was from Jung Si High School's team. Sing Ze then introduced himself as a new student there and asked for the young man's phone number, but the young man walked away without responding. Upon arriving home, Sing Ze took out the ball from his bag and placed it on the shelf. Sing Ze then opened his laptop displaying a photo of Jung Si High School's basketball team with Chun Fang as the wallpaper. Through the window, Sing Ze looked at Jung Si High School's basketball court, eagerly anticipating his first day there. The next day, Sing Ze went to Jung Si High School to pick up his uniform, but found out he was mistakenly enrolled in Jingbi High School. Sing Ze called Wang Yu to complain, but she didn't see it as a big deal. At the orientation, he met a male student named Shen Quan. Seeing that the students from Jung Si High School had rested earlier, Chen Quan devised a plan for them to leave the training. Chen Quan pretended to faint, and Sing Ze pretended to panic. After that, they climbed the wall to see Jung Si High School's basketball team practicing. However, they were shocked to see a player from Jingbi High School being ridiculed. Sing Ze and Chen Quan couldn't stand it, so they joined the game. During the game, Sing Ze admired Chen Quan's skills despite being overweight. Sing Ze then asked if they were the main players from Jung Si High School, then mentioned that he also knew the player who led Jung Si High School to the semifinals in the previous season's match. After that, Sing Ze dashed while dribbling the ball, remembering the past when Chun Fang taught him how to play basketball. Sing Ze then showed off his skills on the court, impressing everyone with his moves. Sing Ze then stated that he would be disappointed if Jung Si High School's main players played poorly. After that, the match between the three players from Jingbi High School and Jung Si High School's basketball team continued fiercely. Meanwhile, a girl named Leo Leo from Jingbi High School recorded the match. Sing Ze blocked the ball and passed it to Chen Quan, 
who swiftly dribbled towards the opponent's area. Sing Zhe received Shen Quan's pass and scored a point. Despite Zheng Si High School's team's efforts to snatch the ball, Sing Zhe managed to steal it again and pass it to Chen Quan for another score. As the game went on, Jingbi High School kept scoring points, but during the action, Sing Zhe accidentally hit Liao Liao's head with the ball, causing her phone to fall. Liao Liao panicked, but before she could react, senior students intervened and pulled Sing Zhe and Chen Quan away to continue the orientation. The following day, Chen Quan and Sing Zhe sat in the schoolyard, watching other students promote their clubs. Chen Quan was disappointed to see that Jingbi High School valued work over talent, with calligraphy, comedy clubs, hun fu, and AI exhibitions dominating the scene. He noticed the absence of sports clubs and felt let down. Suddenly, a group of excited girls approached a Hunsome male student, Yun Mo, who Sing Zhe recognized from the basketball court he met before when he arrived in Beijing. Unexpectedly, Yun Mo was known as a genius at Jingbi High School. Shortly after, Sing Zhe was talking to his sister on the phone about the enrollment mistake, where Sing Zhe emphasized that he would transfer to Jiangxi High School, but Wang Yu still considered both schools the same. After the call, Liao Liao approached him, showing her broken phone. Sing Zhe tried to apologize, but Liao Liao demanded compensation. Sing Zhe explained he was in a dispute with his sister over the school transfer and couldn't ask for money. He promised to pay for the damages within two days. However, Leo Leo refused and threatened to meet Sing Zhe's sister directly. But Sing Zhe still tried to convince Leo Leo, saying he wouldn't run away, and he promised to pay within three days. However, Leo Leo remembered Sing Zhe's impressive basketball skills from the day before. She then offered to drop the issue if Sing Zhe agreed to join the Jingbi High School basketball club. Unexpectedly, Chen Quan and Wang Hao, the student from the basketball court, also came to join the club. Liao Liao gave Sing Zhe the registration form and urged him to fill it out. But Sing Zhe refused and insisted on paying for the damages to Liao Liao's phone. He explained that he wanted to join the basketball team at Jiangxi High School, not Jingbi High School. Liao Liao became angry and scolded Sing Zhe for mentioning Jiangxi High School at Jingbi High School. She expressed her dislike for Jiangxi High School, as they often embarrassed Jingbi High School in sports. Despite hearing the stories between the two schools and the sad end of the Jingbi High School basketball club journey, Sing Zhe still refused and turned to leave. But Liao Liao still tried to persuade Sing Zhe to join and revive the Jingbi High School basketball club together. Unfortunately, Sing Zhe's decision did not change, and he stated that he would leave Jingbi High School in two days. So he hunted over the revival of the Jingbi High School basketball club to them and walked out of the court. On his way home, Sing Zhe spotted Yun Mo playing basketball alone. He approached Yun Mo, apologizing for the misunderstanding and assuming Yun Mo was from the Jiangxi High School team. Sing Zhe mentioned his upcoming transfer to Jiangxi High School, hinting they'd be rivals. However, Yun Mo didn't respond and left after his training. The next day at school, Chen Quan taught basketball techniques to Wang Hao while Liao Liao watched. She felt disappointed that only two new members joined the club. Shortly after, Guan Xin, the Jingbi High School Student Council president arrived. Chen Quan was instantly captivated by her beauty. Guan Xin hunted over documents to Liao Liao, congratulating her on registering the basketball team. She also mentioned an upcoming friendly match with Jiangxi High School and asked about their training progress. Liao Liao lied, assuring Guan Xin that everything was ready. Chen Quan tried to impress Guan Xin by promising to play well in the match. Guan Xin smiled and looked forward to it. The following day, Sing Zhe, Chen Quan, and Liao Liao visited Jiangxi High School to explore. They were impressed by the vibrant activities in the sports clubs, which were much livelier compared to those at Jingbi High School. They checked the bulletin board to locate the basketball court, and Sing Zhe wandered off when he spotted a Jiangxi High School basketball player, hoping to follow them. Sing Zhe ended up in the sports building and accidentally bumped into a basketball player he thought was Chen Fang. Meanwhile, Liao Liao and Chen Quan found the basketball court, and they were amazed by its shiny floor and excellent facilities. Chen Quan eagerly tested out the equipment, but Liao Liao cautioned him not to use the facilities recklessly. They then observed the area from a distance and spotted the locker room of the Jiangxi High School basketball team. Intrigued by what lay inside, they sneaked into the room. Liao Liao was astonished to see the walls filled with team strategies and basketball information, 
and she was particularly impressed by the detailed sketches on the whiteboard. Unexpectedly, Leo Leo learned that the strategy was specially designed for the star player, where all players on the court would create space for player number nine to create a single opportunity. Leo Leo realized this strategy required exceptional individual skills, and she became curious about who player number nine was and what made him so special. Meanwhile, Sing Zhe met player number nine, Su Hao. Sing Zhe found it odd because he believed the jersey number belonged to Chen Feng. However, Su Hao warned him not to mention Chen Feng's name again. After learning that Sing Zhe was not a student of Jiangxi High School, he instructed Sing Zhe to leave immediately. But Sing Zhe refused and pressed Su Hao to explain why he couldn't mention Chen Feng's name. Sing Zhe also informed him that he came to Jiangxi High School to watch Chen Feng play basketball. Su Hao then stated that Chen Fang wasn't worthy of playing for Zheng Si High School's team. When other players recognized Sing Zhe as the Jingbi High School student from the previous day, he ignored them and persisted in questioning Su Hao about Chen Fang's situation. Su Hao dismissed Chen Fang as incompetent and calling him a loser who couldn't take responsibility. This angered Sing Zhe, prompting him to snatch the ball Su Hao shot and challenge him to a match. The news spread drawing a crowd of Jiangxi High School students to the court. Su Hao passed the ball to Sing Zhe and told him to start first. Sing Zhe then swiftly scored a point. Now it was Su Hao's turn to get the ball. When he jumped to shoot, Sing Zhe was surprised because from that distance, Su Hao managed to smoothly score. The match continued, with Sing Zhe trying to dribble past Su Hao, but Su Hao easily stole the ball. Su Hao then scored again while Sing Zhe noticed Su Hao's impressive physique and ability to shoot from the outside. Sing Zhe attempted to snatch the ball again and jump for a shot, but Su Hao suddenly took over the ball and stole the score from Sing Zhe. Meanwhile, in the Jiangxi High School basketball room, Leo Leo snapped photos of all the information she could find. Chen Quan then became nervous when he noticed a player named Hun standing behind Leo Leo. Hun, unfamiliar with them, suspected they were new students, Leo Leo confirmed this and explained they were from the news office, observing. Another player arrived, informing them about the Jingbi High School player challenging Su Hao to a one-on-one -on -one match. Leo Leo and Shen Quan faced each other and speculated that the player they were referring to was Sing Zhe. Back on the court with a score of 4-2, the Jiangxi High School players urged Sing Zhe to surrender. However, he refused and attempted to score again. When Su Hao jumped to block him, Sing Zhe faked him out and scored. As the ball returned to Su Hao, Sing Zhe tried to anticipate his moves. Although he managed to slightly upset Su Hao, Su Hao ultimately got past him. Just as Su Hao aimed to score, another ball suddenly flew and disrupted Su Hao's shot before he could score additional points. Su Hao was surprised to find out that the person who threw the ball was Hund. The match ended and Hund asked Sing Zhe, Liao Liao, and Shen Quan to leave as the court was needed for practice. Sing Zhe approached Hunt and inquired about Chen Fang. Hunt was surprised, stating they didn't have a player by that name. But Sing Zhe still tried to explain that he had seen Chen Fang play with the Jiangxi High School basketball team. Unable to contain his emotions upon hearing Chen Fang's name being mentioned repeatedly, Su Hao grabbed Sing Zhe's uniform collar. He finally revealed that Chen Fang had been expelled from the team long ago. Sing Zhe was upset with how Su Hao judged Chen Fang. Before they could fight, Chen Quan and Leo Leo quickly led Sing Zhe away from the court. Back at Jingbi High School, Sing Zhe recalled Su Hao's words in the restroom, feeling furious. Chen Quan suggested joining the Jingbi High School basketball club to get back at Su Hao. Unbeknownst to them, Du Wan Bai Ting, one of the male students, overheard their conversation and declared he would join the team. Hearing this, Leo Leo was thrilled, and they gained an extra player. Sing Zhe and Chen Quan asked the team captain, Fang Jia, why Du Wen Bai Ting seemed determined to defeat Su Hao. Fang Jia then revealed that they had been rivals since middle school. At that time, Du Wen Bai Ting was a skilled player, winning numerous matches. However, his career took a turn when Su Hao emerged and overshadowed him. People began comparing the two, labeling Su Hao as a superior version of Du Wen Bai Ting. After Fang Jia finished recounting their rivalry, Sing Zhe decided to join the Jingbi basketball team. Leo Leo was delighted and welcomed Sing Zhe with enthusiasm because the revival of the Jingbi high school basketball team was about to begin. That evening, 
Sing Zhe went to the basketball court where he usually met Yun Mo. He waited for a while, but Yun Mo didn't appear. Sing Zhe then left a message informing him that he wouldn't be transferring to Jiangxi High School. Later at home, Sing Zhe informed his sister of his decision to stay at Jingbi High School. Shortly after, Yun Mo came to the court and found the message left by Sing Zhe. Not long after, the day of the friendly basketball match between Jiangxi High School and Jingbi High School arrived. The Jiangxi players were warming up on the court when Sing Zhe and his team arrived. Due to a silly idea from Sing Zhe and Chen Quan, they became the target of mockery from the Jiangsu players. However, Du Wen Bai Ting's arrival quickly silenced the laughter as he showcased his impressive skills, capturing everyone's attention. Meanwhile, Du Wen Bai Ting stared straight at Su Hao, who was at the other end of the court. As the players got ready, Liao Liao set up her camera to live stream the match. The referee called both teams to line up. Liao Liao was surprised to see Su Hao wasn't playing. One of the Jiangxi High School players named Xiu said that they would defeat Jingbi High School without needing to field their main players. Duan Bai Ting and Xiu then positioned themselves up front. However, as Duan Bai Ting went for the ball, it accidentally hit Liao Liao's face, causing chaos. The match continued with the ball in the hands of the Jiangxi High School players, and the Jingbi team struggled to take possession. Eventually, the Jiangxi team scored the first point. Liao Liao then noticed Jiangxi team's game, which was much more coordinated and capable of working together well. On the court, despite being a point behind, Shen Quan remained composed. He passed the ball to Sing Zhe, but Du Wen Bai Ting intercepted it. He took the ball into the Jiangxi High School area and faced off against Sho. As he jumped, Sho suddenly felt intimidated by Du Wen Bai Ting's strong physique. The ball thrown by Du Wen Bai Ting went into the hoop, and Jingbi High School managed to equalize the score. Sing Zhe praised Duan Bai Ting's performance and offered a coin toss, but Duan Bai Ting declined, focusing on scoring again. The game continued, with Duan Bai Ting maintaining control of the ball. Despite Chen Quan's instruction to pass, Duan Bai Ting persisted in solo play, overcoming the defense to score. The match continued and Duan Bai Ting scored again. However, Chen Quan and Sing Zhe were frustrated with Duan Bai Ting's annoying selfish play. Meanwhile, the Jiangxi High School main players on the bench commented on Du Wen Bai Ting's play. They knew that he was trying to prove himself to Su Hao. The Jiangxi High School coach was furious seeing the score at 7 to 10, and he angrily instructed his team to execute what they had learned during practice. As Chen Quan dribbled, Du Wen Bai Ting demanded the ball, but Chen Quan struggled against tight marking. Seizing the opportunity, Du Wen Bai Ting snatched the ball. Unfortunately, this time his shot missed and the ball bounced towards the Jiangxi High School player. The Jiangxi High School team quickly launched a counterattack and managed to score. Seeing this, Liao Liao urged cooperation among Jingbi players. With the ball back in play, Jingbi attempted to regain possession and Sing Zhe managed to break through the defense and score smoothly. The game continued with exceptional teamwork from Sing Zhe, Chen Quan, Wang Hao, and Fang Jia. They scored once more, putting pressure on Jiangxi High School to regain possession. In the final minutes of the first half, Sing Zhe charged towards the opponent's side. When Xiu blocked him, Sing Zhe cleverly passed to Du Wen Bai Ting behind him. Du Wen Bai Ting then smoothly scored, ending the first half with Jingbi High School ahead 31 to 30. Meanwhile, at Jingbi High School, students in the classroom discussed their basketball team's lead in the first half against Jiangxi High School. Yun Mo, sitting in the back row, accidentally overheard the conversation. As the second half began, Sing Zhe and his teammates returned to the field. Su Hao from Jiangxi High School prepared to join, with Du Wan Bai Ting eagerly anticipated facing him. They clashed fiercely, each fighting for the ball. When Du Wan Bai Ting jumped to shoot the ball into the hoop, Su Hao also jumped and successfully blocked it. The ball was then grabbed by Su Hao, and he quickly launched a counterattack into the Jingbi High School defense area. Du Wan Bai Ting chased after Su Hao and intercepted him determined to return all the insults he had received to Su Hao. When Su Hao jumped to score, Du Wen Bai Ting tried to reach the ball. Unfortunately, his jump wasn't high enough, and the ball smoothly went into the hoop. The game persisted with a fierce rivalry between Su Hao and Du Wen Bai Ting. Du Wen Bai Ting refused to give up and felt the same bitterness as in the past, so he continued to try to thwart Su Hao's attacks. However, Jingbi High School slowly began to fall behind 
with Jiangxi High School, leading by a score of 45 to 31. Outside the court, Liao Liao watched helplessly as Jingbi High School faltered against Su Hao's dominance. Even Du Wen Bai Ting appeared overwhelmed. Back on the field, Du Wen Bai Ting leaped to block Su Hao's move, but was paralyzed when the voices that had ridiculed him in the past filled his head. The voices called him arrogant and claimed he was a lousy player, for being defeated by a junior player. Suddenly, the admiration he once enjoyed vanished, and he stumbled, shaken. In a chilling tone, Su Hao suggested Du Wen Bai Ting face the reality of his abilities. The game continued, and Jingbi High School found themselves trailing further, now at 36 to 51. At halftime, exhaustion loomed over the Jingbi players. Du Wen Bai Ting seemed to be under pressure and struggled to push away the disturbing voices that kept spinning in his head. Seeing his struggle, Liao Liao sought to uplift him. Surprising Du Wen Bai Ting, she poured water over his head, questioning his resolve against Su Hao. With mixed emotions, Du Wen Bai Ting looked frustrated and admitted defeat. However, Sing Zhe dismissed the felling and said that Du Wen Bai Ting had not yet lost. If you lost, then they all lost. Chen Kwan echoed, emphasizing basketball's essence as a team effort, urging Du Wen Bai Ting not to fight alone. Sing Zhe asked Du Wen Bai Ting to regain his enthusiasm and win the game together. Realizing all this, Du Wen Bai Ting felt much better and regained his enthusiasm. As the match resumed, Du Wen Bai Ting marked Su Hao closely. However, Su Hao was not intimidated at all and ran to try to pass Du Wen Bai Ting, but Sing Zhe intervened, snatching the ball. Passing to Chen Quan, then to Fang Jia. Thanks to their teamwork, Jingbi High School managed to score. Later, Jingbi High School regained dominance of the ball and appeared to play much better than before. Although Jiangxi High School could still score, Sing Zhe continued to encourage his team and reminded everyone to stay focused. Slowly, they began to score points again, and Liao Liao, watching from the sidelines, was delighted with the amazing teamwork of Jingbi High School. Eventually, the final whistle blew and Jiang Xi emerged victorious at 70-53. Hunt, seated on the bench, smiled as he watched Jingbi High School's improved basketball team. On the field, the players looked worn out. Chen Quan lay defeated, realizing they lost by 17 points. Despite this, Liao Liao found their performance moving. Approaching Sing Zhe, Hunt revealed that Chen Fang hadn't been expelled but had transferred schools. Sing Zhe inquired about their next match, to which Hunt replied it would be in the National High School League. Later that afternoon, Sing Zhe met Yun Mo at their usual spot on the court. Expressing frustration over the loss, Sing Zhe believed they could have won with more time. Surprised to learn Yun Mo had watched Liao Liao's broadcast, Sing Zhe insisted they would have won if Yun Mo had been there. However, Yun Mo showed little interest, dismissing their opponents as not Jiang Xi's main team. Sing Zhe then mentioned that they could face the main team in the National League. However, Yun Mo dismissed this, calling Sing Zhe too naive. Yun Mo stated that he would never join the basketball team, as he believed that the Jingbi High School basketball team would never have a chance to meet Jiangxi High School in the National League. Yun Mo then turned and suggested to Sing Zhe to think of a way to qualify first. After Yun Mo's departure, Sing Zhe stayed on the court, practicing while pondering strategies. He was resolute about leading Jingbi High School's basketball team to face Jiangxi High School in the National League. On the way home, Sing Zhe stopped by a cafe and spotted a banner showcasing various menu items. Approaching the cashier, Sing Zhe ordered soy milk and steam buns, but the cafe owner regretfully informed him they were unavailable. Feeling confused, Sing Zhe ended up ordering dumplings and explained that he was a newcomer from Shenzhou to Beijing. The owner then suggested trying the Beijing specialty, fried liver which intrigued Sing Zhe. But once the dish was served, Sing Zhe found it distasteful. Soon after, a boy named Pi Su joined Sing Zhe, ordering similar items. He eagerly ate his food and suggested that Sing Zhe enjoy it slowly. However, Sing Zhe was surprised to learn that Pi Su knew him. Pi Su then explained that his elder brother had shown him a video of Sing Zhe playing basketball in a previous match. Upon realizing that Pi Su was Yun Mo's younger brother, Sing Zhe became enthusiastic and asked what Yun Mo had said about his game. After complying with Pi Su's request to buy him ice cream, Sing Zhe repeated his previous question. However, Pi Su, distracted by Sing Zhe's teasing, introduced himself and asked for Tan to finish his ice cream. Planning to leave after, Sing Zhe swiftly grabbed Pi Su's hair to keep him from escaping. Pi Su protested and asked Sing Zhe to release him, 
but Sing Zhe insisted on getting an answer first. Pi Su got angry and threatened to report Sing Zhe to Yun Mo. Unfazed, Sing Zhe challenged Pi Su to bring Yun Mo along. Suddenly, Pi Su pointed out Yun Mo standing nearby with his mother. Sensing the tension between them, Pi Su pushed Sing Zhe to hide behind a tree. Meanwhile, Yun Mo had left home in search of his hidden basketball when his mom appeared with it, disappointed in him for lying about playing basketball. On their way to piano lessons, Yun Mo spotted some guys playing basketball and Pi Su called out to him, inviting him to join before his lesson. Surprised to see Sing Zhe with Pi Su, Yun Mo wondered how they met. Sing Zhe showed him the basketball, but Yun Mo declined and walked away. Pi Su chased after him, offering to treat him to soup if he played and Sing Zhe promised extra sausages. Despite their efforts, Yun Mo remained silent. Pi Su persisted, reminding him of his promises to teach him how to play basketball every week, until Yun Mo finally agreed to play with them. Pi Su then approached the three adult men playing basketball and challenged them to a three-on-three -three game with him, Yun Mo and Sing Zhe. Initially, they refused because they didn't want to underestimate the kids. But Pi Su quickly demonstrated his dribbling skills and shot the ball into the hoop. Impressed by Pi Su's abilities, they finally agreed to accept the game offer from Pi Su. The men agreed to the game and Pi Su set the condition that the loser had to eat the ball. As the game began, Sing Zhe dribbled the ball toward the opponent's side, passing it to Yun Mo. However, Yun Mo seemed disinterested, so the ball went to Pisu instead. The other team quickly grabbed the ball and scored. Seeing Yun Mo's lack of enthusiasm, Sing Zhe encouraged him to enjoy the game. The game resumed with Pisu trying to defend against the opponents, but they easily passed him and scored again. Sing Zhe marked the opponent tightly but couldn't stop them from scoring once more. Sing Zhe and Pisu quickly strategized for their next attack. When Sing Zhe managed to steal the ball, he passed it to Pisu, while he blocked the opponent intending to chase the ball. Pisu then ran towards the hoop and scored the first point for the team. They continued to work together effectively, scoring point after point. Watching Pisu and Sing Zhe play reminded Yun Mo of his past basketball games. He was shocked when Sing Zhe's words reminded him of something someone had once said to him. As Sing Zhe passed the ball to Yun Mo, he was amazed by the resemblance to someone from his past. Eventually, Yun Mo avoided the opposing basketball players and intended to steal the ball from them. He jumped and made a surprising three-point shot, astonishing everyone. With renewed spirit, Yun Mo stole the ball and scored, impressing everyone. The trio continued to score, and Sing Zhe was stunned when Yun Mo performed a spectacular dunk. Sing Zhe could hardly believe that Yun Mo was capable of such a technique. Pi Su then boasted about his brother's abilities and teased Sing Zhe for not being able to dunk. Hearing this, Sing Zhe became frustrated, arguing that the technique was quite difficult. He was also happy to see Yun Mo smile and invited him to do a coin toss, which Yun Mo returned. After the game, Yun Mo planned to attend piano lessons, but Sing Zhe urged him to join the school basketball team, believing they could beat Jung Si High School together. However, Yun Mo felt the team needed a coach more thund him. At home, Yun Mo found his old basketball jersey, triggering memories of past games in Sing Zhe's words. He stumbled upon a note from Sing Zhe with his phone number listed. The next day, Leo Leo called for a team meeting in the math club room to introduce their new coach. However, after waiting for a while, the person who showed up was their math teacher named Gu Da. Feeling unsure if Gu Da could teach them basketball, Sing Zhe and others decided to escape to the cafeteria. Sing Zhe was annoyed with Leo Leo for playing with them, considering that the division qualifiers would start next month. Chen Quan and Duan by team panicked when they saw Leo Leo behind Sing Zhe. Once Sing Zhe noticed Leo Leo's presence, she immediately scolded him. Leo Leo reprimanded them and instructed them to return to class to listen to Gu Da's explanation. Chen Quan expressed concern that if other schools learned their basketball team was being coached by a math teacher, they'd be mocked. Leo Leo reminded them to appreciate anyone willing to coach. Reluctantly, Chen Quan and Duan Bai Ting agreed to meet Gu Da. In the match club room, Sing Zhe apologized feeling that Gu Da wouldn't be suitable to coach the basketball team. During break time, Gao Zhan from the math club approached Sing Zhe. He thought that Gao Zhan was sent by Gu Da. So Sing Zhe explained that what he was doing was for the school basketball team. But Gao Zhan instead focused on observing Sing Zhe's face carefully and showed a photo of Wang Yu. 
He believed that the man recently photographed with Wang Yu by a reporter was Sing Ze. After seeing their similar white hair, Gao Zhan speculated that Sing Ze was Wang Yu's sibling. Sing Ze confirmed it and asked how Gao Zhan knew his identity. Gao Zhi was delighted and immediately hugged Sing Ze, introducing himself as Sing Ze's third year senior and a big fan of Wang Yu. Shortly after, Liao Liao arrived and scolded Sing Ze for being disrespectful to Gu Da, seeing that Gao Zhan tried to protect Sing Ze. However, Liao Liao was more interested by Gao Zhan's physique and wanted him to join the team. But she was disappointed to learn that he was not a basketball player. Liao Liao then signaled to Sing Ze to persuade Gao Zhan to join the basketball team. Sing Ze said that his sister would attend their practice, so Gao Zhan immediately became excited and declared that he would sign up as a basketball club member. In the afternoon, Gao Zhan caught up with Sing Ze and suggested they walk home together. Seeing Yun Mo not far away, Sing Ze used it as an excuse to escape from Gao Zhan. He remembered they were in the same math class earlier. Sing Ze expressed his disagreement about the basketball team being coached by a math teacher, suggesting they needed someone like Yun Mo. However, Yun Mo denied Sing Ze's attitude towards Gu Da. But Sing Ze tried to explain that as an inexperienced team, they needed an expert to qualify for the National High School League. Although knowing that Gu Da liked basketball, Sing Ze felt the teacher still wasn't suitable to be their coach. But Yun Mo pointed out that Gu Da also liked basketball, disagreeing with Sing Ze's assumption that Gu Da couldn't be a good coach. Yun Mo also suggested that Sing Ze should appreciate what others liked. That night, Sing Ze was checking the basketball team chat group as Leo Leo informed them that Gu Da would wait for all of them at the court for practice tomorrow. The following day, the Jingbi High School basketball team gathered at the court, and they were surprised to find new pairs of shoes waiting for them there. They thought it might be a gift from the principal to cheer them up after losing the last match. However, Leo Leo explained that the shoes were a gift from Gu Da, purchased with his own money. Du Wenbai team then suspected Gu Da of trying to bribe them with the shoes. However, Gu Da then shared his own story of loving basketball during his youth, despite never officially joining a team. He expressed his happiness at seeing the team and hoped to coach them towards success in the National League. Sing Ze Chen Quan and the others were touched by Gu Da's story. They were impressed when Gu Da managed to score despite feeling pain in his back due to his age, trying to impress them. Practice began with the whole team wearing the new shoes provided by Gu Da. Leo Leo and Guanxin then arrived to distribute the New Jerseys, boosting the team's spirits. They trained with renewed enthusiasm, and Sing Ze finally accepted Gu Da as their coach. The night before the match, Wang Yu noticed Sing Ze appearing anxious. She knocked on his door and suggested going shopping, but Sing Ze declined, opting to sleep early for the upcoming match. However, in his room, Sing Ze couldn't sleep. His mind was filled with thoughts of the other high school teams they would face. He remembered Leo Leo's explanation about Ling Han High School's basketball team, known for their aggressive style of play that often led to injuries for their opponents. The following day, the Jingbi High School basketball team assembled at the court. Chen Quan looked emotional, as it was his first school league game. Wan Hao seemed nervous, while Gao Jian was worried about the possibility of Wan Yu attending the match. Meanwhile, Sing Ze was getting scolded by Leo Leo for staying up all night. As the team warmed up, Su Hao and his teammates from Jiangxi High School appeared in the stands to watch Jingbi High School face off against Ling Huan. Liao Liao spotted them and wondered why they were there. Yun Mo and Pi Su were also in attendance. Unexpectedly, a player from the Ling Huan team named He Suan stopped Yun Mo and greeted him. He reached out his hand and asked how Yun Mo was doing. However, Yun Mo didn't respond and instead invited Pi Su to find a seat. He Swan seemed annoyed by Yun Mo's behavior and intended to confront him, but Sing Ze intervened. Sing Ze informed He Swan that Yun Mo was his friend and warned him not to pressure Yun Mo. He Swan mocked Sing Ze's use of the term friend and challenged him to ask Yun Mo if he responded to his teammate who had fought alongside him. However, when Sing Ze asked He Swan to stop talking, He Swan got angry and grabbed Sing Ze's jersey collar. They were on the verge of fighting when the referee blew the whistle stopping them. The referee scolded both of them and gave each a technical foul, warning that any further incidents would lead to disqualification for both teams. Shortly after the match between Jingbi High School and Ling Huan High School began, Ga Jian, with his tall stature, easily got the ball. Meanwhile, 
Pisu noticed that Sing Zhe wasn't playing. On the court, Chen Quan dribbled past the Lingguan players and passed to Duan Bai Ting, who then passed to Gao Jian. Despite being momentarily confused about what to do, Gao Jian jumped and scored the ball into the hoop, feeling happy at his achievement. Sing Zhe, Chen Quan, and the others looked on with envy, realizing that Gao Jian didn't need much effort to score due to his height. Gu documented that it would be a waste if Gao Jian didn't play early. This annoyed Sing Zhe, who demanded Gu Da to let him play too. However, Gu Da refused, telling Sing Zhe to wait. He warned that if Sing Zhe couldn't calm down, he wouldn't be allowed in the game. Meanwhile, on the court, Chen Quan spotted Guan Xin among the spectators. Energized by this, Chen Quan dashed past the Lingguan players and scored. The Linghuan High School team quickly got the ball back and launched a counterattack in an instant. He Swan managed to score, increasing their lead. The match continued with Ling Huan dominating possession and continuously scoring points, while Jing Bi struggling to regain position. During halftime, Sing Zhe went to the restroom to calm himself, wanting to avoid being provoked by He Swan. As he walked out, Sing Zhe was surprised to see Yun Mo standing in front of the door. They briefly chatted about He Swan and agreed that if Jing Bi High School managed to win against Ling Huan, Yun Mo would join the basketball team. Back on the court, Ling Huan still dominated, and Jingbi trailed by a lot. He Swan also continued to try to provoke the Jingbi players on the court and Sing Zhe on the reserve bench. Coach Gu Da then planned to put Sing Zhe in the game next. He Swan taunted him again, but this time Sing Zhe chose to ignore him. The match continued and Sing Zhe had entered, sparking a new spirit in the Jingbi team and slowly, they began to close the gap. However, when Duan Bai Ting and He Swan dueled in front of the hoop, to contest for the ball. Duan Bai Ting fell from a high jump and suffered a broken leg. Sing Zhe felt furious, suspecting it was intentional, and the story continues up to this point. More lesson from the story, don't try to ordering fried liver in a cafe, because it's a recipe for disaster. Just when you think you're about to dunk that ball, life might just serve you a plate of unpleasant surprises, leaving you with a broken leg and a bad taste in your mouth.